Today, we will take a look at the amplitude of a periodic function. Now, the main idea here is that an amplitude is a characteristic for a periodic function. And the way that we find amplitude is we need to identify the high point and the low point. Now, the amplitude is how high or how low a function goes from the center. We will see a formula later on as to how we can find the amplitude of a function. And one thing that is really important is that amplitude, it's always going to be positive. Amplitude can never be negative. Amplitude is always positive. So again, we will see what is an amplitude, which is basically how, how a high low, how highly low a function goes from the center. And one thing to keep in mind is that the amplitude, it's always positive. So let's take a look into some examples. Now, here's the function that I was speaking of. If you want to find the amplitude of a function, it's going to be 1 half times maximum value minus minimum value, which is the same as you get your maximum value, you subtract your minimum value, and you divide it by 2. These two functions talk about the same idea. This is just maybe it might be easier to remember max minus min divided by 2. And this is equal to the amplitude. Amplitude. So now, let's see. Let's find the amplitude for some of the functions that we have here. Now, again, two things that you need to understand is the max and the min. So all the functions are periodic. If they were not periodic, they will not have an amplitude. So all the functions that you would see, that you will be seeing here, are periodic. So let's see. You need to identify the maximum value, which is what's the highest point that your graph can reach, which in this case, we see that the highest point that my graph is reaching is one. So here my max is one. Now, what's the lowest graph that your graph reaches? Well, let's do that in blue so we can compare it. Now, notice that the lowest point that your graph reaches is negative 1. So that says that my min is equal to negative 1. So we have enough information. So now that says that our amplitude, oops. That is equal to my max, which is 1, minus my min, which is negative 1, and we divide it by 2. So now this says that we have, remember, negative minus a negative, that becomes a positive. So 1 plus 1, that's 2 divided by 2. So that says that my amplitude is just 1. Does this make sense? Well, let's see. Half or the middle point of our graph is right here at 0. So what's the distance from the zero to one? That's exactly one unit. So that's my amplitude is one. And that will be the same length as if you go from the midpoint to your lowest value, which is still one, one unit. So this is what amplitude is, is the distance from the center, is the distance from the center to the high point and the distance from the center to the low point. We can use algebra to find it by applying the formula max minus min divided by 2 and this is the explanation as to why that is true so let's find the amplitude for another function so here's a new function now again all functions here are going to be periodic so what do you need to find out you need to find out your max so let's find our max what's the highest point that my right that my graph can reach they're about right here that's the highest point, which is 4. We're always going to be looking at the y value. So this is my max. It's 4. So now let's find out what's my min. What's the lowest value that my graph is reaching? Which is, this is the lowest point. And what's the y value for all of them? That's negative 4. So that says that my min 
is equals to negative four. So if you want, if I want to find out my amplitude, that is going to be equal to my max, which is four, minus the min, which is negative four, divided by two. So now we have here minus or minus. This becomes a plus. So now this becomes eight divided by two, which is exactly four. Does this make sense? Well, notice that my the center of my graph, it's about right here. So what's the distance from the center to the highest point? That's four units from zero to four. That's four units. And from zero to negative four, it's two four units. So that makes sense. This is the amplitude is the distance from the center to either the high or the low point. And again, we've, it's preferred for you to find the user algebraically than just visually. So here, let's do another example. Again, if I want to find that the amplitude, I need to know two things. I need to know my max, and I need to know my min. And then we can use our formula. So let's find out what's the max, what's the highest point, I noticed that these are the highest points. What is their y value? So that's two. So that says that my max is equal to two. So now let's try to find out with the min, what's the lowest point that my graph reaches? It's about right here. And it will be about right here. What's the lowest point? That's about negative two. So that says that my min is negative two. So now that says that my amplitude is equal to max minus min divided by two. So that becomes a plus. So now we have um, two plus two, that's four, which is just two. Does that make sense? Let's see. This is the center of my graph approximately. What's the distance from the center to the highest point? That's two. What's the distance from the center to the lowest point? That's two as well. Now let's look at our final example here. Again, if you want to find the amplitude, there's two things that you need to know, and that is the maximum. Let's find that out. What's the highest point that my graph reaches? I know that these are the high points, and their value is four. So that says that my maximum is four. What's the lowest point that my graph reaches? Here are my low points. What are those values? That's negative two. So that is saying that my minimum is equal to negative two. So that says that if I want to find my amplitude, that is equal to my max, which is four, minus my min, which is negative two. I always divide by two. So that minus and minus, that becomes plus, so 4 plus 2, 6 over 2, which is 3. So here's your entrance ticket. Find the amplitude for the following functions.